welcome to our port programming part 2 in this part we are going to learn about how to program a, a parallel port and using visual studio c sharp in this lessons we are going to uh, learn about to uh, how to output data from uh, data uh, data pins in our port, um, parallel port and uh, as you can know we have the part one in that part one we know uh, give the all the resources and other things that you need to program uh, a parallel port in a windows environment mm, uh, i think you will uh, if you are a beginner to this uh, part you have to uh, go through our first part and know what are the resources need and what are the dll files that we need to uh, program port programming okay before we start port programming we have to know about something about uh, digital computing because the computer is a digital device so we all the things in the computer is uh, converted into digital and it is uh, then used by the computer when it's come to digital we always use 0 and 1 uh, for our information and for everything we use a sequence of 0 and 1 uh, by the computer but when it's come to programming a LED in our program we don't need this binary coding we need the real output of this binary coding the uh, when it come to zero the computer will output the zero as zero volt into the real world and when it's come to one the computer will uh, return the y volt to the re uh, real world it means when it's come to programming in our language we have to use binary codes but when it's come to the uh, parallel port when uh, the parallel port output will be zero volt of I volt so we have to know which is the best things to do and when it uh, the main thing of this uh, computer output is the capacity of this uh, output voltage is 10 milliampere so we have to increase that 10 milliampere to uh, flash a LED or something like that because it is a uh, little bit low but now uh, I'm going to show uh, what is the uh, actual uh, this is the diagram of what we are going to do this is uh, in here we will have 5 volt from the parallel port and this is uh, connect to the port uh, data pins and uh, this is uh, convert into the uh, connected into the um, uh, minus data port data pins as you all know uh, LED's voltage is 3 so we have 5 volt so we don't uh, we, we we have to reduce uh, 2 voltage from our input uh, because the uh, if we send all 5 volt to the LED then the LED may be burn out so we have to uh, do it like this we have to do a little uh, computation as you all know there is a, a simple solution for that it is called v equal ir the v is equal to the voltage and the i is equal to the capacity the r is equal to the resistance now let's see what is the resistance that we need to uh, use a LED the now we have to reduce 2 volt and uh, the uh, capacity will be uh, 5 over 1000 uh, this is um, we divided uh, by 1000 because this is 5 milliamperes and we have to uh, make it to the ampere so we can find out the uh, resistance now when it's come to its the resistance will be equal to uh, approximately 400 ohms so we need to uh, use this uh, 400 ohm capacitor 
for every uh, LED that we are going to use in our 8 pin parallel port program um, that is all you have to know about the uh, things and I will show you the, uh, the circuit diagram that we are going to use